A man from Grand Rapids has been charged after police say he intentionally hit and killed a young man with his truck. Fox 17's Michael Martin talked to someone who watched it happen from their home nearby. And Michael, they said not a lot like this happens in that neighborhood. Yeah, that's right, Doug. Good evening. We spoke to that woman who lives just a couple hundred feet from where the 19 year old was struck and killed. Her family, they've lived in the area for 10 years now, and she says it's the first time they've ever felt scared in their home. A witness to a 19 year old who was struck and killed by a man in a truck Sunday morning near Nagel and Whiting in Wyoming. This woman, who we are choosing not to identify, says it all happened so fast. No, this is the first time. We've lived here 10 years and nothing like this has ever happened. In court documents, police say this man, Adam Grigo, was driving a Chevy Silverado Sunday, revving the truck in front of a group of men before driving towards them. After that, allegedly turning the truck around and driving towards them again, this time hitting and killing one of them. We were almost asleep. It was a little more than midnight when we heard cracked glass, like bottles. Then I went to the window and I saw a black truck. Then the guy came back and a guy was running on the church area, and then the truck hit the guy. The people around started to scream and cry. On Monday, Grigo was arraigned on one count of failure to stop at the scene of an accident resulting in death. Police say additional charges are being considered. Asking the neighbor we met if her family is left scared following what happened, she said. Yes, of course I'm afraid. I just went outside to clean and there's still blood from the guy in the area and that scares me. So police say the investigation is ongoing. They also say that at some point in the incident, shots were fired, although it's unclear at this point when and by whom. Online court records show that the suspect, Adam Grego, has been arrested before for driving under the influence, driving with suspended license and assault back in years prior. Now, they are continuing to take calls from anyone with information, but those additional charges that they mentioned, if those go, then that'll happen later this week. For now, live in Wyoming, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.